Well, the form factor of cell phones dramatically changed after the introduction of the original iPhone in 2007. Now, most smartphones look something like this. And this. Well, it wasn't always like that. So today, we're going to take a trip down memory lane and look at some of these cell phones and what they looked like before Apple entered the market. I don't know if you remember this baby here. I do. <laughs> this is the Motorola Dynatac 8000X, the world's first mobile phone introduced back in 1983. I don't know if you remember Wall Street with Michael Douglas. Absolutely. I was just going to say, any uh, old movies that are classics, you always see these phones in them. So uh, this one had 30 minutes of talk time, eight hours of standby, but it took 10 hours to recharge the battery <laughs> and it could store a whopping 30 phone numbers. But you know what freaks me out is like how much, what's transmitting out of this thing? Like it, I don't, don't know what kind of like waves we're wanna, passing through. I don't want to know. But you know, it's funny, it's similar. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the phones that, the satellite phones today. Yeah, satellite phones are a little bit uh, larger, but I think that's because they need the big antenna because they're going to space. So this one, uh, only $4,000. $4,000, that's quite a deal. Well, uh, you might remember this one here. This is the MicroTAC by Motorola, 1989. It's the first flip design phone. So you can see here that the little flip covers the keyboard on there. It's got a built-in alphanumeric phone book. It has a security code because it was really expensive to make phone calls, so you wanted to be sure to lock your phone. And uh, it also had a little app built into it. You could have a currency converter. Price point on this bad boy, 2,300 bucks. I remember actually having one of these, uh, these devices. Too, yeah. but <laughs> That's I, how I, old we are. I know. <laughs> but I thought it was so cool, right? You just yeah. like, hello, can you hear me now? But I remember um, this thing was pretty durable as well. And it put Motorola on the map. I mean, at yeah. the time it was the, you know, it was one of the only cell phones that people had, so there were really no other, other manufacturers to compete. Yeah, mine uh, had a bad ending. I, uh, I dropped it as, as I was running across a busy street. Oh. And no word of a lie, a bus <laughs> came along and ran oh, over oh, it. Oh. <laughs> And yeah, I was in big trouble because they were like 2,000 bucks for a new one. Yeah, no kidding. It's crazy. <laughs> so BlackBerry, they really revolutionized, uh, I think, communications. This is one of the first ones. This is the uh, R957M from BlackBerry. This was uh, one of the first uh, big two-way communication devices. Didn't have the phone built into it yet. So basically it was like a PDA, so you keep track of your appointments and stuff like that. But you could also do email and it had the little keyboard on here. This was huge. Back in 2000, this was introduced and had the monochrome display and people just got addicted to this. Like they even used these in the presidential election at the time. And you know what, um, this actually uh, reminds me of a time when Palm was basically the PDA that everybody had with them. Remember the Palm Pilot? I mean, this is really the very first instance where BlackBerry introduced the device to compete with them, again, having that two-way communication that Palm didn't have. Four megabytes of memory, <laughs> which I'm telling Smoking. you is nothing, which is crazy. So what else we got here? Okay, well I gotta take a look at this one. So we're talking about BlackBerry. This is one of the devices, it's the 7280, the BlackBerry, introduced around 2003. This is one of the first devices to actually have a color screen. And I don't know if you remember, but um, the fact that you could actually get email to your device was unbelievable yeah. like that was the big thing I mean it doesn't sound like a big deal now but actually being able to get email to a portable PDA and something that could also make phone calls was revolutionary which put them on the map uh, this one supported HTML browsing although really websites back then was not really <laughs> something that you, you didn't do. you didn't yeah. want to browse the web on that thing no absolutely no. not yeah but, but you could yeah and again I had uh, I had one of these devices as well very cool so this is uh, something from uh, Sony Ericsson. Uh, they really got into phones in a big way. And you know, we all have built-in cameras now. Yes. Well, this one had an optional camera that you could attach to the <laughs> I bottom. I love that, I gotta pull that, I gotta pull that off of there. Can you even pull it off yeah, there anymore? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. The but that's crazy, so yeah. uh, this was before camera phones became really big, but again, that was like an amazing option. When that came out, I thought, wow, technology is just advancing so rapidly. And I think that's, you know, what we saw in the beginning was, um, you know, they were started as phones, then we started to be able to do things like email on them, uh, and then also being able to add the camera into it. Not long after that, uh, music. And this is a clamshell by LG that had a music player built into it. Well, that was the big thing. You know, everyone was getting into music with MP3s and iPods, and it started getting built into phones as well. So phones started becoming more than just a uh, you know a voice phone yes. device uh, you know we saw with the BlackBerry you could do the email but now you know phones you know with the iPhones and the Samsungs and, and what have you yep. these are basically computers in our pockets there. which are simply amazing and it's about consuming content so we've got things now like video that we're starting to watch on them or you know reading um, blogs or books or anything like that so it's really a transition over time from communicating to taking pictures listening to music and now everything else we do on these things I think I like where we've come. Yeah, me too, lots. But soon, I, I think uh, the future will be built into our heads. There you go. A few years from now. 
Hello? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Gotta get connected.